Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. If you're thinking about moving to Marietta, this will be a very helpful video for you. If you're shopping for a home online, it's super easy to see photos and sometimes even videos of houses. But when moving to a new area, there's so much more to see and learn about than just the house you're going to live in. For example, where are the grocery stores, the hospitals, the schools, the shopping centers? More importantly, What's the vibe at those places? Does it look like a place I'd feel safe? Is it dirty? Is it clean? Do I like the way the west side of Marietta looks over the east side or vice versa? These are things you should know before moving into a new area. So right here, right now, we're gonna give you a first person look with video footage of all the places that I just mentioned and more. So sit back, relax, enjoy the tour, and don't hesitate to reach out to me directly if you have any questions. I've lived and worked here since 2005 and absolutely love it, but I will say there are some things I wish I knew before moving out here, and there are definitely some areas that I prefer over others. So after you watch this video, if you're still considering a move out here, give me a call so I can match you up with the perfect home in the perfect neighborhood. All right, let's get started with the tour. Okay, so before we jump down into the city and look at the schools and the shopping centers and all that good stuff, I just want to show you guys really quickly where one of my favorite places to go. It's the Santa Rosa Plateau. It is out here off of Clinton Keith. This is uh, the 15 freeway, Clinton Keith Road. So you'll pass Bear Creek, Copper Canyon. You'll be heading out to the La Cresta area. And once you get out there, you will be able to access the Santa Rosa Plateau. It's on both sides of the street here and let's take a quick look at it. The Santa Rosa Plateau is an ecological reserve where we come to do a little hiking. One of the trails is a multi-use trail where you can also bike and horseback ride. This is a great place to come if you wanna detach, get some outdoor exercise, or just enjoy nature. Next up, we're gonna take a look at Town Square and Old Town Marietta. Town Square is this area right in here, which is off the 15 freeway. It's the Cal Oaks exit which is actually Calmia on this side of the freeway. So it's between Calmia, Juniper, and then Jefferson, which is a big long street that goes all the way from the north end of Marietta to the south end of Temecula. And on this side is Adams Avenue. So again, Town Square right here. And then we're also gonna take a look at Old Town Marietta, which is off of Washington Avenue, which is here. When we get over to Old Town, we're gonna start here and come down to about here. Let's take a look at those places. Town Square is a really cool place to visit. If you currently live in Marietta and haven't been there yet, you should definitely go check it out. If you're planning a trip out this way, add Town Square to your list of places to visit. It's a great place to go for a walk, to have a picnic, or just go sit on a bench under a tree and relax. The library, city hall, police department, amphitheater, and Senior Center are all located in Town Square. The city does a lot of really cool things here throughout the year, like concerts in the park, movies in the park, a Memorial Day ceremony. The police department recently had an open house type event where they set up their SWAT vehicle, their mobile command center, let people go inside of them and check them out. They also brought out some of their canines and special equipment for people to look at. It was a really cool event that I think shows how great of a rapport the police department has with the community. I've had the opportunity to meet several police officers and other members of the police department and they've all been really nice and really friendly. And what I think is the most special part of Town Square is the Veterans Memorial. It is so well done and really embodies the support for our veterans that you'll see throughout the community.
Just a couple streets over from Marietta Town Square is Old Town Marietta, which has some really good restaurants like Anthony's, Downtown Public House. There's a couple of fun coffee shops, the Crafted Scone and the Press Espresso. The post office is in Old Town. There's also several businesses in Old Town, both service type businesses and professional businesses. Old Town Marietta is a great place to visit. It's certainly not a big city downtown. It definitely has a small and much more calm feel about it, but there are some really good places to eat and it's very convenient. There's plenty of parking, easy to get in and out of. Old Town also hosts a farmer's market twice a month, which is pretty fun. And one of my wife's favorite places happens to be in Old Town. That is the Marietta Day Spa. Also on Washington, just a little north of Old Town is Marietta Valley High School, which is the oldest of the three high schools in Marietta.
If you're a golfer, just a couple blocks away from the high school is the Marietta Valley Driving Range where you can hit a bucket of balls. They also have a really nice putting green and chipping area so you can work on your short game. I hope you're liking this video and finding it helpful. If you are, please do me a huge favor and like and subscribe to my channel. Share it with anyone that might benefit from it. That would be great. All right, on to California Oaks Road. Okay, for the next leg of our tour, we are going to take a good look at California Oaks and Calmia, which are actually the same street. It just changes names depending on which side of the freeway you're on. So if you're on this side of the freeway, it's Cal Oaks. If you're on this side of the freeway, it's Calmia. We're gonna start right here at a little shopping center and we're gonna head up this way, go back under the freeway, all the way up here, and we're gonna wrap up this leg of the tour right here at the Barron Shopping Center here in the Cal Oaks Sports Park here. Let's take a look. This little shopping center is right on the corner of Calmia and Jefferson. We've been to the bike shop a couple times, but our main reason for visiting this center would be to go to TK Donuts which I believe has the best donuts in town. Just on the other side of the freeway on Cal Oaks Road is a big shopping center that has an Albertsons grocery store. We like to eat at Chipotle, occasionally grab a smoothie from Jamba Juice. Normally when we go into this shopping center, it's because I am chauffeuring my wife to Target. It's not a super Target, but it's very convenient. The parking lot's easy to get in and out of. And at this point, my wife's become an expert on ordering on the app. So most of the time, we don't even have to get out of the car. Also in this shopping center is a Reading movie theater, which is absolutely amazing. It has these big giant recliner seats that are super comfy. Just be careful not to fall asleep during the movie. Marietta Mesa High School is directly behind the Target Shopping Center. It's the newest of the three Marietta schools and it has a beautiful campus. If you have little ones, there's a really cool preschool just around the corner from Mesa High School. This is a highly sought after preschool and there's usually a wait list to get in. One of the big attractions is that they have farm animals outside like goats, pigs, miniature horses, and the kids get to help take care of them. Rival Coffee is a really nice new coffee shop right behind Mesa High School. We enjoy going there. It's really big inside, lots of seating. They also have some really good food. Right across the street from the Albertsons and Target Shopping Center is in a Sporta Fitness Gym, which used to be LA Fitness. It has indoor basketball courts if you wanna play some pickup. They also have racquetball courts and indoor pool. And in that same parking lot, there's an oil change car wash place that I like to go to. From what I found, they have the best price for oil changes, plus you get a free car wash with your oil change. And just a little further down Cal Oaks is the Cal Oaks Sports Park. Here they have several softball fields, leagues for both adults and kids, a skate park, a swimming pool, outdoor basketball courts, a play area for kids. They have some tennis courts.
and right across the street from the Cal Oaks Sports Park is a Barron's Shopping Center with tons of restaurants, fast food, uh, several other services and businesses. There's a pizza restaurant in there called Jersey's that we've been to a couple times. They host uh, a lot of youth league team parties. We go to Barron's somewhat regularly. If you're not familiar with it, Barron's is kind of like a Trader Joe's health food type grocery store. They have some really good homemade soup and a nice salad bar. Just a little further down Cal Oaks, there's a bowling alley that's a lot of fun. Now we are going to head down Jefferson Avenue. We are gonna start right here on the corner of Jefferson and Juniper, and we are going to make several stops along the way as we come down this way. We're gonna end up all the way down here, almost in Temecula, actually. This is probably just a couple streets north of the Temecula border. We're gonna end up right here to the Pony Fields. Let's jump into it. On Jefferson Avenue, right across the street from the police station is a little shopping center that we go to just about every day of the week because my son trains at Legacy Boxing and Fitness, which is a very nice gym. In the same center, there's also a kickboxing gym and a place to train jujitsu. As you head a little further south down Jefferson, you'll notice more commercial, industrial type buildings with a lot of different types of businesses, anywhere from exotic cars, motorcycle and dirt bike shops. There's a BMW dealership just off Jefferson. Several mechanic shops, printing companies, furniture stores, and tons more specialty businesses. You'll also find the Marietta Pony baseball fields just off Jefferson. As well as a really big equestrian park that's open to the public. Okay, now we're gonna jump over to Madison Avenue. We're still gonna be on the west side of the 15 freeway here. This is Madison Avenue that comes down through here. And this is kind of like the main street for shopping, lots of restaurants, different types of you know businesses and services and that sort of thing. If you live on the west side of Marietta, you're probably gonna be spending a lot of time on Madison Avenue. So we're gonna start right up here at the top off of Calmia, and we're gonna head down this way, making lots of stops because there's lots of really cool stuff to see on this street here. And we're gonna end up down here at the CarMax. All right, so let's check out Madison Avenue. We're gonna start out in Village Walk Plaza, which is just a little north of Madison Avenue. I'd say the highlights of this plaza are Bed Bath & Beyond, a couple furniture stores, there's a BevMo, Planet Fitness, Guitar Center, the Verizon Store. Another cool thing about this shopping center is that they have a farmer's market every Sunday there in the parking lot. 
I highly suggest that you find the Baba Foods vendor and buy some of his amazing dip and fresh pita bread. Next up is the Kohl's and Lowe's Home Improvement Shopping Center. Like I mentioned, Madison Avenue has a lot of shopping and places to eat. Just about everything you can possibly think of. There's a Best Buy, Home Depot, America's Tire Company, Chick-fil-A. There's a couple sporting goods stores. There's also a Walmart on Madison, but we avoid it at all costs because it's always very crowded. Mulligans, which is a family fun center that has batting cages, go-karts, mini golf, laser tag, and an arcade. There's also an Ashley Furniture Store, a store called Savers where you can easily and very conveniently donate things. And of course, like just about every shopping center in Marietta, there is a Starbucks. As far as Italian food goes on Madison, we really like Carini's. One of our favorite Mexican food places is on Madison Avenue in the Home Depot Center. It's called La Bufadora. They have really good authentic Mexican food. And that also happens to be right next door to one of my son's favorite places, which is GameStop, where he spends a big chunk of his allowance on a regular basis. Further down Madison, there's a center that has a new restaurant called Toast that has fresh food and delicious breakfast. There's a great swimming school in that center where we took our kids when they were little. Also a butcher shop called The Naughty Pig that has a really good sandwiches. There's also a couple newer nice looking hotels down Madison. Most of the car dealerships are in Temecula, which is just south of Marietta, but there is a CarMax and BMW dealership in Marietta. We have so much more great footage to show you, but I just want to mention really quickly, if you're picky like me and you're seriously considering moving to Marietta, you want to make sure you move into the neighborhood that best suits you. Like I mentioned earlier, Marietta is a great place to live. I've lived in five different homes in different parts of Marietta, and I'm happy to give you all the insider info on what the different areas are like. So don't make the mistake of trying to figure this out on your own. Call me and I'll make sure that you end up in the best possible home in the best possible neighborhood based on the things that are important to you. Okay, now we're gonna head up to Los Alamos Road and we're gonna kind of start moving 
east. You know, we're going to kind of go through central Marietta here and head into east Marietta. So we're going to start right about here. This is Los Alamos Road. It's Los Alamos Road on this side of the 15 freeway and it's Ivy Street on this side of the freeway, Old Town side of the freeway here. Let's zoom in a little bit, take a look at Los Alamos Road. So we're going to get started in this shopping center right here. This is the 215 freeway. The 15 freeway is in that direction over here. And we're going to move up through here, stop at some shopping centers, and then we're going to wrap up up here at this massive sports park, Los Alamos Sports Park. All right, let's take a look. So by now you're probably starting to notice a lot of similarities between the shopping centers out here in Marietta. There are a lot of places to eat, several small businesses, a major grocery store, a gym, and usually some form of entertainment. And this shopping center on Los Alamos is no exception. Things that stand out to me in this one are Chuck E. Cheese, Stater Brothers, CVS Pharmacy, Pizza Hut, and of course it would not be complete without a Starbucks. Further down Los Alamos is a shopping center where the main post office is located. There's a bunch of different stuff in this shopping center as well, lots of places to eat, several specialty stores. A place we've visited several times in this center is Uptown Jungle Fun Park where kids can run around inside, rock climb, jump on a big trampoline, you can have birthday parties there. It's a cool place for younger kids. They'll also be opening a grocery outlet store. And last but not least for this shopping center, you guessed it, another Starbucks. Across from this shopping center is a very big spread out shopping center with several furniture stores, a gym, a couple churches. And my favorite reason for visiting this shopping center is In-N-Out Burger. Like any In-N-Out I've ever been to, the line can get really long. When this happens, we'll either go inside and order or we'll go right next door to Miguel's Jr. for some really good bean burritos. And the last place we're gonna look at on Los Alamos Road is Los Alamos Sports Park, which is a really big and very popular sports park that hosts several different sporting events soccer, baseball, lacrosse, football, and probably a bunch more that I don't even know about. There's also a really nice outdoor playground. When our kids were younger, we'd come over here pretty regularly to the outdoor play sets, which are really nice because they're fully covered so the kids can play in the shade on hot days. There's a trail that goes all the way around the perimeter of the park where you'll see a lot of people walking their dogs or running. Okay, next up we're going to look at Marietta Hot Springs Road. So we're going to come back over here. The 15 freeway is, is back in view here. Los Alamos Road is up here. 215 freeway. So this here is Marietta Hot Springs Road. It's one of the, I'd say, like three major roads that will take you from the west side of Marietta all the way over to the east side of Marietta. So we're basically well into East Marietta when we get over here to Winchester Road, also sometimes called 79. So we're going to start up here, kind of toward the top of Marietta Hot Springs, and we're going to go all the way down and make several stops along the way until we hit Winchester Road 
over here on the east side of Marietta. Our first stop on Marietta Hot Springs Road is a center where you'll find Richie's Diner, which is a fun place to eat. It kind of has an old diner theme to it. Every once in a while, you'll see people bring their classic cars to the parking lot, which is really cool. There's several places to eat and several specialty shops in here as well. And if you're concerned because there was not a Starbucks in the last shopping center that we saw, don't worry, we have you covered. And this one even has a drive through Around the corner is Rancho Springs Hospital, which is one of three local hospitals. Just down the road on Hancock, you'll find Rady's Children's Medical Offices, which is where we take our kids and have nothing but great things to say about their services. Back out to Marietta Hot Springs Road is the Sam's Club Shopping Center. This is a huge shopping center with lots of places to eat, a gym, Harbor Freight Tools, Azusa Pacific University, a couple credit unions, a pharmacy, and several other stores. Across the street is another really big shopping center that's probably most well known for having several big name discount retail stores such as Ross, Marshalls, and Burlington. There's also a new floor and decor which is a store that specializes in tile and other types of flooring. There's a brand new Amazon Fresh which is pretty exciting and several places to eat. And of course, a Starbucks and this one also has a drive through Next stop is Firefighters Park, which is a nice little park right off the street. It's called Firefighters Park because right next door is one of Marietta's fire stations. The nice thing about this park is even though it's on a busy road, it's completely fenced and set back a little so you won't have to worry about your kids running out into the street. There's also kind of a hidden park called Pond Park that's hard to find but it's really cool because it has a little pond where you can go fishing. Personally, I've only been back to this park a couple times, and both times there was nobody there. A little further down Marietta Hot Springs Road, you'll find the actual Marietta Hot Springs that was developed in the early 1900s as a world-class health spa resort. It's been a Bible college since 1994, and from what I understand, is currently in the process of being sold to a company that's gonna revert it back to a resort and spa. We are now well into East Marietta, and personally, we don't come out here very often because we live in West Marietta, and each side of town is more than fully equipped with any services you might need. In this sense, it's almost like East and West Marietta are two different cities. The only time we really come out to East Marietta is if there's an event that we're going to, or if one of our kids has practice over there or something like that. In this next center, there's a Goodwill, Massage Envy, Dance Studio, Cryotherapy, and a bunch of other specialty businesses and several places to eat, along with a gym. Right before Winchester Road off of Marietta Hot Springs is an Aldi grocery store with a new small shopping center directly across from it. 
We did live in East Marietta for a while, but this particular shopping center was built after we moved to West Marietta. So I have not actually visited this one. Okay, so now we're jumping over to the east side of Marietta. So you can still kind of see where we are here, 215 freeway, the 15 freeway. So now we are going to kind of focus on this area right over here, which is Winchester Road. And we're gonna start kind of right down here at the intersection of Marietta Hot Springs and Winchester Road. And then we're gonna head up Winchester Road and look at some stuff along the way. And we're gonna end up here at the French Valley Airport. There are two major grocery store shopping centers on the corner corners of Marietta Hot Springs and Winchester Road. I'm very familiar with these shopping centers because we shopped at them regularly when we lived on the east side of Marietta about 15 years ago. The first one is the Albertson Shopping Center. A couple places that we've been to here are Shamrocks, which is an Irish pub that plays live music. There's a good Thai food restaurant and a Hawaiian barbecue place that I liked called Ohana. Right across the street is the Vaughn Shopping Center that also has a Wells Fargo Bank, a Walgreens Pharmacy, lots of places to eat. One of which is Round Table Pizza, which I believe is the only Round Table Pizza in Marietta or any of its surrounding cities. If you're looking to play some golf on the east side of Marietta, you can tee it up at the golf club at Rancho California. I haven't played here for several years, but did play there pretty regularly when we lived on the east side. It's a fun 18 hole par 72 course that plays just a little over 7,000 yards from the tips. Just a little further up Winchester Road is a small shopping center that we still visit because that is where our dentist office is that we've been going to for years and we absolutely love them. There's also a really good Italian restaurant called Rustico's, a few medical offices, more places to eat, and some other small businesses. Directly across the street from this little shopping center is the French Valley Airport. This is a small aircraft type airport. I believe there's a flight school there as well. And there's a little cafe that has a nice view of part of the runway so you can grab a bite to eat and check out the planes. Okay, so now we are going to head back toward West Marietta on Clinton Keith here. We're gonna pick up kind of right here where we left off on the east side of Marietta. We're gonna head this way. We're gonna pass the high school and show you some really cool footage of that. We're gonna check out the Loma Linda University Medical Center. So just something I wanted to point out here. So this little skinny red line here is the border between Wildemar, which is up here, and Marietta, which is inside on this side, I guess, of the little skinny red line. So as we head down Clinton Keith, this is basically all just a bunch of houses in here all the way until we get over here. So we have a few shopping centers to show you over here, but technically these are in the city of Wildemar as is the rest of this area here. So as you come down Clinton Keith, 
right here you actually enter into the city of Wildemar and then you if you keep coming through you pass the 15 freeway and once you get to this point you're back in Marietta. If you live here in the northwest section of Marietta these shopping centers are very close and very convenient and have a lot of stuff in there that we use quite re regularly as residents of, you know, this area of Marietta. All right, let's check it out. Clayton Keith Road is a big street that you can take to get from East Marietta to West Marietta. There's a nice little sports park here called Spencer's Crossing Sports Park. They have a couple baseball fields, a full-size basketball court, and a nice playground. As we head west on Clinton Keith, just before we get to the 215 freeway, you'll see Vista Marietta High School. This is the biggest high school in Marietta enrollment wise. I'm told there are about 3,800 students there this year. Our oldest son started high school this year and goes to Vista. So I can tell you from firsthand experience that the traffic during school drop off and pickup times is absolutely crazy. Right across the street from Vista Marietta High School are a couple new shopping centers with a Starbucks, imagine that, and several other places to eat. The highlight of these shopping centers is definitely the brand new Costco. Just a little further west on the other side of the 215 freeway is a Super Target shopping center. And just behind Target is a tractor supply hardware store. Several food options, a gas station, dollar store. About a mile north of these shopping centers, back on the east side of the freeway, is Loma Linda Hospital. It's a beautiful hospital and we've had great experiences there. My wife had back surgery there a few years ago and the nurses and staff at the hospital were wonderful. We have nothing but great things to say about Loma Linda. All right, so now we're back over on the west side of Clinton Keith, right off the 15 freeway where we have a few more shopping centers to check out. And remember, technically, these centers are in the city of Wildemar, basically right on the border of Marietta. If you live in the northwest section of Marietta, like we do, these are very close by and super convenient. We use these shopping centers a lot. Starting with another Barron shopping center, which is about five minutes away from Copper Canyon on Clinton Keith Road. There's also a car wash and oil change service business, several food options, El Pollo Loco, Stadium Pizza has some pretty good pizza, and Tuesday is buy one, get one free there. There's a jujitsu studio that I hear is really good, and several more cool places that you can check out in this center. Next up is the Stater Brothers Shopping Center. Stater Brothers is another big grocery store and I'm told by my wife that they are much cheaper than Ralph's. There's also a Chase Bank and several food options, a couple small gyms and much more. Here's a look at that. All right, here's a little shopping center bonus for you. Just across the street from Stater Brothers are two smaller centers, one of which has a restaurant called Angelo's Brick Oven Pizza. This is a really good Italian restaurant and Angelo is a super nice guy that takes a lot of pride in the quality of his food. There's also a sushi restaurant, the Habit Burger Grill, Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins Ice Cream Parlor, and a bunch more.
All right, let me know what you think. If you already live out here, I think it would be really great if you would comment below and give some advice to anyone who's considering moving out here. Maybe share why you moved to Marietta, where do you like to shop, eat, get coffee. If you have kids, what are your thoughts on the schools? What fun things do your kids like to do out here? All that good stuff. I think it would be great to share that. And as always, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in the Marietta area, or if you have any questions at all about what it's like living out here, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd love to be a resource for you and help you any way I can. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.